Back in the book segment tonight, Reality Check. This evening, a story about good and evil that you should know about. In 1999, Alexa Brancini was a freshman at Boston University, on campus just two weeks when she was brutally raped in a dormitory. Abdel Akuk, a Moroccan citizen working outside of Boston, was arrested, subsequently convicted of the crime. He's now serving 40 years in prison. But to get that conviction, Alexa and her family went through hell as defense attorneys delayed and used terrible tactics on Alexa, trying to prove the rape was consensual. But the young woman and her family persevered, even though the ordeal cost them tens of thousands of dollars. So after it was all over, the Brancini started the It Happened to Alexa Foundation, where they raised money to help other victims of rape and their families survive the court system and get counseling. Alexa herself is working on achieving a PhD in criminology, the family turning their suffering into help for others. Now, a few months ago, I was asked to headline a benefit for Alexis Foundation. Of course, I said yes. The event last week in Palm Beach, Florida, was a big success. The elegant Ritz-Carlton Hotel was terrific. The generous crowd, the best. We all admire Alexis' courage. Now, for the evil part. Last month, after the charitable event was announced, a bunch of far-left loons picked up some propaganda from the hate group Media Matters that said, I am unsympathetic to the plight of crime victims, a preposterous lie. Along with America's Most Wanted, the factor has done more for the victims of crime in America than any other television program on the air. The loons pointed to a Radio Factor episode from three years ago. We've posted the entire commentary on BillOReilly.com. Elements at NBC News then encouraged the loons to protest the Alexa Foundation, causing Alexa and her family major grief. Perhaps the worst garbage came from the far-left group Center for American Progress, headed by John Podesta. A woman named Amanda Turkle led that charge. He wrote a blog about Bill O'Reilly going to speak for this rape function, this charity group and you attacked him personally and you attacked the foundation and you brought a lot of pain and suffering to this group. What's your reaction? What I remember was writing was highlighting a comment that Bill O'Reilly had said and that's what I remember doing. I don't remember attacking the foundation. What did Bill O'Reilly say? Um, I can't remember re exactly what he had said because it was a while ago but I remember it was something having to do with he had talked about a rape victim in a derogatory way that seemed to place the blame for the rape on the victim. Did you actually ever hear the Radio Factor segment in question? Yes. You did hear it? There was, there's audio online. So what was the Mel Gibson component to Bill's analysis? I don't believe I highlighted the Mel Gibson component. Do you know what the Mel Gibson component was? No. Why not? Because I didn't highlight it. Because you didn't hear it, did you? Because you're just dishonest. I listened to the portion that I highlighted. You didn't hear the entire thing, you don't know the context, and you owe everybody an apology because you brought a lot of pain and suffering to this rape victim and this foundation and her family. Well, Ms. Turkle is certainly a villain. She was obviously used by NBC News, and that brings us to the man behind the curtain. For years, NBC President Jeff Zucker has been paying character assassination to lie and distort the truth under the banner of NBC News. Zucker is the guy who hires the hate, the executive who allows NBC's airwaves to harm innocent people. With NBC's programming a disaster, he is almost single-handedly ruining a once great brand. By the way, Zucker's direct boss is our old pal Jeff Immel, the CEO of the failing General Electric Corporation and great patron of Iran. And so we have a brave young woman and her fine family subjected to pain imposed by the likes of Jeff Zucker. In white-collar circles, it doesn't get much more evil than that. I'm not a crook.